hand. Um, the sun is the hour hand. It goes around once every 24 hours. So the sun keeps track of the days, the hours and the days, right? It laps the moon once every 28 days. Well, let's bring that graphic back up, Dave. We're oh, so you know what? I, you know what? I, I, I uh, thank you for pointing there. You there go. You go. Yeah, yeah. I, I forgot to hit the transition button. So the sun there goes go. on once every 24 hours, keeps track of the hours and the days. If I, if I speed it up, um, the sun, you'll see it'll, it's right now, it's right about a full moon. It'll start catching up. The moon will start waning. So the moon keeps track of the weeks and the months. There used to be 13 months of 28 days. That's 364. One day set the new year. That's April 1st, by the way. Happy New Year's. Happy, happy New Year. <laughs> yep. Happy New Year. Um, and so the weeks, the 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 moon keeps track of the weeks and the and the um month uh, then the months. And then the stars, they're circling around just like the sun and the moon do, but they're going slightly faster than the sun. The stars will lap the sun once every 365 days. Right. So the sun will drift back through each zodiac for about a month. And that's how you know what zodiac the sun is in. So the, the stars keep track of the seasons and years. But this is the important part, seasons. This outer yellow line is where the sun is on December 21st. That's the Tropic of Capricorn. The inner yellow line is the Tropic of Cancer. So the sun will migrate in and out. So I'll, I'll uh, jump in, here we are, April, May, June. So in June, it's going to be all the way in there. And then July, August, September, October, November, December, it goes all the way back out there, right? So it's migrating in and out um, for the season, six months out and six months in. So here's the... 